the big question becomes, there's so much need, how do you decide what to focus on? With FEED, it was a clear mission. It was feed one child in school for one year by buying one bag. Why that? Why that mission? I don't think we presume to say we're going to solve world hunger through our bags, but it is about just making it bite-sized and measurable for consumers to feel like they are doing something, and the something they're doing is quite significant. You're feeding a child in school for a year through the UN World Food Program School Feeding Program, and that is not only you know giving a child a guaranteed lunch meal a day, but it's getting them to go to school in the first place. So it's about education, not just food. Where's the most need right now? There's, there's kind of two different problems um, of, with malnutrition. There's chronic malnutrition, which is places like Guatemala that we're supporting with these products in, mm -hmm. with UNICEF. And that's kids are going year after year after year, decade after decade, generation after generation of just little bit too little food and too little nutrients. And then there's acute malnutrition, which is areas like Haiti and areas like Sudan and, and, and Darfur that, that are dealing with a specific crisis that is meaning that they're food insecure in, in a particular moment. We're trying to kind of get at both, feed the kids today, but also help invest in things that will help them longer term in the future. How do you decide uh, which companies you want to be associated with and which ones you don't? We're very much at the mercy of great companies that, that want to work with us. And I think part of what, what we've done is really kind of said to, to each of our retail partners, look, you're not going to make the normal margin that you would make on any other products. Right. And that actually weeds out a lot of companies. Do you want to grow um, within the company in a way that you're just growing this product and expanding slightly? Or do you see this in mass, if you will? I think we do see it in mass. I don't think it has to be um, either or. For example, we've done a bag just now at Lord & Taylor. We've also done a higher one at Bergdorf. We're making this beautiful bag in Kenya, and one of my goals is to actually have it sold in Kenya. So I think it's um, important that we you know, empower everyone to be able to participate and give within the Feed brand, and that's actually one reason why we started the Feed Foundation. So in case you're not inclined to buy a bag, there are ways to engage and ways to give that aren't just product-connected.